Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Johnny and today's video we are going to be showing you how to make fast money in Cyberpunk 2077. Believe it or not, you can actually make about a million dollars and probably in an hour in the game if you do what I tell you in this video. So it's basically a money glitch, um, sort of money glitch or exploit. It's not really a glitch simply because the game has it implemented in some way where you can actually do this. So the first thing that I want to mention is that you're going to need to have some money already. Maybe 10,000 is fine. It doesn't matter. Just have something around 5,000 or 7,000. Um, so you can maximize the profits uh, that you're going to make in this uh, glitch or exploit. So what I recommend is that you go to city center. I absolutely recommend you go to city center. It is the best place that you're going to be able to farm this money. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to each vending machine that you see all around city center. So there's like a first floor in city center that has a lot of machines. So if you... So if you go to those vending machines, get as many soda cans as you can and just keep buying and purchasing them. They should be falling out of the vending machines and there's a lot of them. So there's like five areas in the first floor where you can actually go to like four different uh, vending machines on each area. So as you're going to watch in the video, I'm basically dumping them all. Uh, getting everything out of the vending machine until it's sold out. Um, you can only do this with cans. So make sure that you don't get any machine that has like uh, food like burrito or other stuff. You can only do this with cans. So every anything that has a can, well, this uh, money making way will work. So make sure to do that. Um, also, there's a second floor that you can go as well in city center. If Once you go into the second floor, there's a lot of more vending machines up there as well. Just look around. It takes a while to find them, but it, there's there's a ton of them. So you're going to be able to go ton of them. So make sure to so make sure that everything is sold out on the second floor. Um, and once you do that, you can actually go back downstairs where it, it said sold out on those vending machines. And they should be restocked with more cans. So believe it or not, you don't even have to leave the area. You don't have to put save and load. You can just go back to the downstairs area and they will be um, they will be restocked. So every time that the bottom gets non-stocked, after the bottom runs out of stock, you go up to the second area and get all of those. Um, and then you can go back again to the bottom floor in city center and they will be restocked. So you don't have to do any type of loading or you don't have to leave the area at all. So that is an amazing way to do it so you can keep going back and forth to the second floor and to the bottom floor if you want and they'll keep restocking and you can keep doing this as many times as you want so if you have a bunch of money like 20,000 credits or your money in the game um, you, sh you can continue doing this constantly so you can keep going upstairs come back downstairs come upstairs and downstairs all right, so once you do that and you got a bunch of cans in your inventory, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your character inventory and you're going to go into your backpack and you're going to look for those cans. And once those cans, it's going to uh, give you the option to disassemble them. And um, you can disassemble them all at once. I had like 700 or 800 cans at once and I could disassemble them. And what they give you is a common items, I believe, uh, items, crafting material or common crafting material or rare crafting material. Um, and you'll, you can get as much as them. The more cans you have, the more crafting material you're going to get. So what are you going to do with this crafting material? The next thing that you're going to want to do with this crafting material, you're going to want to find a place to sell it. So this is basically the process. You get all those cans, you disassemble them, and then you turn them into crafting materials, and then you go and sell them to a vendor. Now, there's different areas in the game where you can go to different locations where the drop box or anything. Uh, there's like a drop box, I believe. And each of them allow you a maximum of 20,000 credits. So you can sell tw up to 20,000 in value of those uh, crafting materials in those areas. So that's one spot. Now, I heard that there's other places where you can also sell them to people and stuff. Um, I haven't found them yet. But if you, haven't if you haven't found any other place, you can go to these drop boxes in different areas. Just look at, my, uh, look at them up in your map and they should give you 20,000 each. And just keep going to each one until you're able to do it. And if um, 
if they run out of uh if the vendor has run out of uh money to buy from you just keep doing the same thing uh load up and go back and refresh and it should have twenty thousand credits available to you once again so you can sell and this will actually get you to a million pretty quick believe it or not if you spend like 30 minutes or even more than 30 minutes if you have enough uh money to buy a lot of cans you can really get a million money in cyberpunk really quick like it's a really fast process not only that it's really good because it's helping you with your xp and leveling up as well now i don't really think it's a glitch much maybe it was intended by the developer or, or as an exploit that they really need to patch up because it doesn't seem like a glitch it's just a reselling mechanism that you're allowed to do so uh, you can keep doing this as much as you want. This hasn't been patched or anything. So if you if you keep repeating the process, you can keep doing this. And you will be able to collect a lot of money in Cyberpunk. I recommend you do it if you really need to buy items or good weapons. Uh, it's a really good recommendation that you do. Because uh, you will be loaded in Cyberpunk. So just keep repeating the process. The best place, in my opinion, I've seen other videos, people say other places, but the best place is definitely the city center. The city center is just packed with these vending machines, and the fact that you don't have to reload or go upstairs or do nothing, um, the, the, the best place is definitely the, the city center because it has two floors that you can keep going up and down. Um, uh, you will find the stairs to go up to the second floor and then to the bottom floor and the first floor. And you can just keep doing this and you'll find these vending machines everywhere around there. They're just packed there. It's probably the best place to do this, um, to farm all these cans and then turn them into money in the game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a nice day. Make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And make sure to continue watching for more content.